read a lot of, about him, I read a lot about other things, and I understood many mm -hmm. other things. Um, I learned how to palm read. Mm -hmm. I don't either. <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> hey, we never had a palm reader on the show. We should. Really? Well, no, now you we, have. We, we yeah, now you have. Yeah. I am. It's kind of, well, you have, but you're the director. But you know what? We could pre tape a little clip because Kanashiba Shan is coming. Um, when we did the 2001 predictions, we zoomed through all the predictions in six months because we had that weird power shift here recently. Right. So we're going to double back on that. We could do some inserts with. We could. Uh, it it was amazing, great? you know, because I was in the control room and I said, oh, come on, how can this happen? And mm -hmm. boom, everything. Uh, most of the things got done, didn't they? Got, yeah, but, uh, look at that. At the behind us here, yeah, boy, that's pretty handsome. Oh, huh? yeah, my, mm -hmm. yeah, that guy used to be handsome some time ago. That was my sister. Um, and, and that's you, I'm assuming. That's me, okay. that's me. Uh, I, and that's, uh, oh my God, that's, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> that's almost 30 years ago, I think. Mm -hmm. It's a long time ago. You missed those times? Uh, I, I, I miss, I miss that that my body was uh, <laughs> was a whole lot more nimbler and and, and I was so much sure of myself in, in every way. Um, my sisters have grown up; they have their own families. Uh, man, I used to have a whole lot more hair, and, and uh, mm -hmm. but you know, I it, it's always a learning experience. I, I, every time I look back and. and I said, would I go back? Eh, maybe for a minute or two. Mm -hmm. But I, I love, I love getting older. Yeah, I do too. Yeah. We get, we get, um, we get a lot wiser. You know, the minds say that you grew up when you're 52. So Ooh, I just grew up. Nice yeah, you grow up. <laughs> um, you, you, your time in the military, and the hardships, and all these things. Looking at how things for the country turned out eventually. Any regrets? You know, there is. Um, I wish for somehow I, I, I wouldn't have let the, um, the way that the, the military is to uh, hold me back. Because uh, when I went in there, I was expecting a certain type of, of uh, discipline mm -hmm. and, and leadership. And it, it was different than what I had thought. I thought that it was mind discipline in, in which they strive for, and maybe they, they say this is it. But it was more, more bullying than anything else. Mm -hmm. And maybe it works for them, but it, it, to me it didn't work. Um, and and I, at the very beginning I got in trouble because uh, um, I noticed at one particular class, I think it was uh, hum, human resources or something, and, and all the drill sergeants had left. And, and me curious, I asked my drill sergeant uh, the reason why he wasn't there. Now, I, see, I, didn't, I did not tell him, why weren't you there? Mm -hmm. Like kind of, kind of demanding that he would be there. And, but he took it that way. Mm -hmm. So he, he, he thought we were getting too familiar with, with him, so he had the whole company low crawl and back crawl up and down a hill. And, oh and, the, and, the, and then the, the lieutenant stood behind me on top of me saying, now you know you shouldn't be talking like this to the drill sergeants. Who do you think you are? And, and I said, boy, this guy just <laughs> totally didn't misunderstand me and what yeah. the whole company's paying for. The whole company just wanted to know who the jerk was that did that so they could beat <laughs> him up. I'm glad they didn't until later on. <laughs> but. Uh, all through the years, just the understanding that we never had with that type of, of military. Um, I, I wanted to be a, a soldier soldier. Uh, I would, I would um, follow directions even when, when it, it would harm me. Um, one of the things I said that we, we should, um, we should uh, obey the people that were appointed over us. Mm -hmm. And uh, even when a certain major that later on was was a total, uh, he put a stop to my whole career, mm -hmm. um, single-handedly too. I mean, he used his influence, but uh, I, was, I was going right along. I, I had already declined being an officer, but then I was ready for it. And uh, he, he told me, and that was when I had the problem, family problem, and uh, army-wise, later on, 
he said he would use his influence to take me out of the E7 list and uh, um, use his influence to take me out of the army. Mm -hmm. And uh, he did. He did. Uh, he didn't quite go that way because, like I said, somebody has been with yeah. me all along, um, and he demoted me to an E5. Oh, not him, but his, his officer. Yeah. And he used the right circumstances at the right time when the, when the CO wasn't there, but his assistant, so his assistant signed all the papers. Yeah. He didn't know what he was doing, I think. And uh, he demoted me, and um, he bad, bad mouthed me all over the, the battalion. But when he did that, my MOS changed, mm -hmm. and he couldn't keep me in his battalion. Wow. Oh. And because my MOS changed, then I, then I was entitled to other things that that E6 couldn't, couldn't be. So the, I got a certificate from the labor of uh, U.S. Uh, labor department mm -hmm. to uh, give me credit for what I was doing electronically and give me a certificate of, of uh, apprenticeship. Oh, and I see full circle. So if it all hadn't happened like that, you wouldn't be able to do what you do here. Right. Being so creative. So you see, there's always a reason. Um, but it's so hard when we experience oh, yeah. distrustfulness. Oh, yeah. I, I think, in a way, the, the, the military lost a very good asset that I could have been in, in many, many ways. Uh, and, but uh, I'm, I'm, still, I'm still crawling off of that. I'm still getting over it. Uh, I don't know how we're doing time right now. Yeah, I mean, I'm kind of thinking because it's all brought us full circle. So I'm sure somebody's going to tell us. Oh, we cool. Got lots of time. Cool. All right. Yeah, but, you know, so in, in Loretta, back to you, and they'll give you a general idea who Bernie is here. And um, uh, one of the other things is, ever once in a while, um, we manage to do bilingual shows. In yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, fortunately, I do speak Spanish. Mm -hmm. And if you can tell by the accent I've been having, uh, I, I understood some other languages when I went through Europe and to Korea, Japan, Panama. Um, so it's, it's the good things that I had in the Army. Uh, somehow, if you're not where you want to be, appreciate where you are and, and do something with it. Mm -hmm. and, and that's what I did. Um, my show, in my show, I do speak Spanish. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and here I, I could say, amigos, aquí estamos con, con Lilian y conmigo. Expresándonos como podemos para la salud de todo este mundo. And, and I always feel good. That's good. Yeah, you always have a smile on your face. Always have a smile on your face. Do you, one of the other things that I've noticed is you're getting busier and busier here at this TV station. So yeah. um, maybe I'll chip in and buy you your own station here pretty <laughs> soon because you're working all the time. Oh, it would be great. Mm -hmm. No, it. Uh, so, somehow, I don't know if it was you or, or somebody else told me, there's going to come a time where you're going to be moving whether you want to or not. And, and I think it started, you know, sometimes I used to, there was times when it was so boring. Uh, I, I stayed home sometimes and stay in bed all day and all, I have nothing to do. And a lot to do, but I don't do it. And uh, nowadays, people call me from out of the blue. They get up. We need to do this, and mm -hmm. and, and I'm moving, doing a whole lot of things that I, I wouldn't be doing otherwise. Mm -hmm. And it's exciting. We were, we was talking. Uh, oh, I'm I'm gonna. This is below the belt. I'm gonna put this in here. We was talking today. We was looking for Bernie, and the lady said, oh, "What time, Bernie? Time?" Oh, right. <laughs> so yeah. Bernie is on his own timetable here. It's, it's, but it's great. Pretty much all through the army, I, they were upset with me sometimes. Yeah. But uh, in the kind of job I, I had to do, uh, electronics. Uh, you had to be cool all the time. Mm -hmm. One one mistake could could have been your last or your buddies, mm -hmm. and uh, but the rest of the army didn't understand. Uh, when you're in a technical field, you need that uh, that frame of mind. Yeah, you, we we have a lot of patience, though. Oh, very little. Well, I don't know if from <laughs> where I'm sitting here because I I my mind of uh, I have. My post-traumatic stress syndrome goes a little further than yours or anybody else's. I mean, I just literally become another person. Mm -hmm. And so, 
So sometimes you you can maneuver two or three of me, and it still comes out okay. So I do appreciate that. Cool. You know. So, um, but I, I feel that you have a lot of patience, and and like like I said, look at your children. You know, and uh, just a smile, and uh, you're always on the phone, no matter where you are. Yeah. They can call yeah. you. And, um, a smile got me in a lot of trouble. It's a permanent smile. I, I don't know why, but it's, it's so when I sleep, when I, when I would get angry smile. and stuff, it was We want to know how you did that. <laughs> I don't know. It, it, maybe that, that being that I say is it's, it's with me all the time, the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. Jesus Christ, uh, my, my Savior. Uh, by me understanding that, it's, it's, uh, it gives me a better place to be in my mind. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's wonderful. So, yeah, that's really wonderful. Um, you want to announce some upcoming shows here um, sure. that, that you have? We've got like two minutes left, so if you would like to uh, go there for a minute, we can before we wind up. The upcoming shows? Well, I know my show shows, uh, and you said your show's Wednesday at 9, mm -hmm. and I thought mine used to show at Wednesday at 9.30. Mm -hmm. So then we have a conflict there. I, I don't know if they change our times tables, but uh, my show usually shows on Saturdays, um, at three o'clock in the afternoon, mm -hmm. and usually Wednesdays at nine thirty. It could be ten now, mm -hmm. since your show is, uh, is there. But uh, I'm looking forward to the new ones because, like I said, it's, it's not only the Hispanic side, but the uh, just the talent that's around here in this area northwest mm -hmm. of Washington is good. Um, we were also offered the opportunity to. to opportunity to do one live show per month where uh, where we can actually do really? online readings yes uh, All right. they, they told us cool. and so where you could call in and ask and ask things and we could we gonna uh, film you doing um, palms oh I'm so excited oh about my God. that mm -hmm. I'm just I'm just an amateur uh, I, I, it's something I, I, I wanted to do and, and mm -hmm. I checked it out at, uh, one time I was uh, in the in the army. Uh, in charge of many, many uh, people, and so mm -hmm. I, that's where I got my training too. Mm -hmm. Poor people. Well, so anyway, we're gonna have to. Uh, Bernie, you've been a wonderful guest. I thank you so very much. Thank you for having let me see things to your eyes and my pleasure. Yeah, and maybe you can understand me a little bit more. We we'll see you next week. You have you have a wonderful week. Um, Hi. Yeah, so. Cool. Thank you, Lily. Wait for the music and we out of here. That's cool. cool. She gave me a. This was a great <sighs> show. Yeah. yeah, you know, that's my first grandchild. Is it? Grand. Mm -hmm. no, that's not my first grandchild. That's my first grand grandson. Yeah, I, yeah. And he's, he's really, really going to have a little brother, so. Be like much.